Hello, today we're going to be dissecting a frog. So we're taking a look at our amphibian, so come on down here. And we got a, a common uh, frog. I'm going to look at the surfaces. So we've got the dorsal surface here, and we've got the anterior end and the posterior end. These are really comfortable with. And then ventral. All right, we got the forelimbs and the hind limbs. Um, we also have some very cool little membranes right here. It's called the nictitating membrane. Kind of like goggles, so when they swim, they can pull these up over the top of their eyes. And they have a tympanic membrane, or tympanum. It's like their eardrum. And then inside of the mouth, they got the coolest mouths here. You'll love this. They have little bumps right under here. We call it the vomerian teeth, these little bumps. I know it's probably hard to see, but right here are the vomerian teeth. And on either side of it, there's these internal nares, these little openings. So internal nares, when I'm putting my probe in, and then vomerian teeth. And I'm, I'm pulling on the tongue and the lower jaw. That's the mandible. Here's the maxilla. You're familiar with that term. But you got to check out how this tongue works. So with the tongue, when it's, when it's eating, it'll flip the tongue like out of the mouth like this. So that it's actually connected in the front. So it flips it out and grabs the prey and then forces it back in th to its esophagus. So it's connected on the front. So it flips out, whoosh, grabs something, forces it down its esophagus and into its stomach. So a very effective way. Oh, here's the, the external nares. Here, one right there. And when we look at the legs, boy, I tell you, these things have some serious muscles. And to really get a good look at the muscles, we've got to take off the skin. So we're going to cut right here. And these scissors are just not made for, for big hands. But we're going to cut around the skin here. And then we're just going to pull off the skin kind of like a sock, just right off the legs. See, that comes right off there. And that will expose the, the flexor and the extensor muscles. And we're going to use, you know, we'll use the same terms that, that we use for our, our muscles. Okay? So let's take a look at this joint. So we're going to call this like a knee joint. So when it contracts, when this muscle right here, like the hamstring, when it contracts, it shortens and pulls on the limb so it flexes. That's flexion. This, my friends, is extension. We're increasing the angle of the joint. The muscle that is used to do that is the extensor muscle. And that's right here, the extensor muscle and flexor muscle. Extension, when this contracts, it shortens and flexes the joint. Okay, on, here's like a, a tibia, right here you can see the bone. So on the front of the leg right here is a muscle. It's like the anterior tibialis on your, on your shin. So when this one shortens, the joint does this, it flexes. So that muscle is a flexor since it shortens or decreases the angle of the joint. The, like the calf muscle, like right here, when this shortens or flexes, it extends the joint. So flexion, extension. And that's the same way with, with this frog. Have the same, same muscle groups that you can see, flexion and extension. All right, so we've taken a look at, at the hind limbs and the intricacies of the muscles. Let's go ahead and we're going we're gonna to go inside and look at the internal organs. And we're going to cut right here and then... We're going to go up all the way anteriorly, and then we're going to go underneath here, and then we're going to go across right here. And that will allow us to, to open up the, the frog. Okay, so I'm going to move it like this just to give me, so I can use my left hand. I'm going to cut right here, not going too deep. And then I'm going to go just underneath the skin and there's a muscle there. I want to be right there underneath the muscle too. So, yep, I'm under the muscle and under the skin. 
So I'm cutting through that abdominal muscle. They have some serious abdominal muscles. And I'm not going too deep through like a, a sternum. There's a little bit of bone here, but it cuts, cuts pretty easily. Then I'm going to have to also cut under the arm right here. I'm going to cut right all the way there, and I'll do the same thing on the other side. Okay, and I'll do this right by the hind legs. There we go. So we think I think I got it all cut the way we need that. And then so that we can get access to the internal organs, then we want to open here and pin. So we're using some pins to help us. Might be better for your viewing if I turn it like this. Probably making you dizzy by spinning this around so much. Okay. So I'm going to open right here. Place the pins at angles. To hold that in place. I'm doing this kind of fast so it doesn't take up too much of your time, but I think it would be really beneficial, you know, watching the video and seeing how it's done before we actually get to class. So, okay, that looks good. So let's go in and take a look at some of these parts. Um, we saw a fairly large liver with fish, but check this out. We've got three lobes to this liver. One, two, and three. So three livers that we can see, three lobes to the liver. Then we have a heart right here. And we have a pericardial sac. We see the, the, the membrane that covers the heart. So we got a three-chambered heart too. We got a ventricle and two atria. So this whole thing right here is the heart containing the ventricle, two atrium, and the pericardial sac. Very nice. Let's just turn this over to the side right here and let's take a look. Hey, here's the, here's the lung. So we got a lung on this side, and we have a lung on the other side as well. Stomach. That's kind of nice. We might have to, feels like there's something in there. We might have to look inside. So we've got a stomach here. And um, if we pull, well, let's just pull this to the side a little bit. Here we got some, some fat bodies. And these fat bodies, um, they, they don't store fat like we do. We have subcutaneous fat just underneath our skin. They have these, these structures they call fat bodies, and they'll, they'll store their fat there. Also have, look down in here, we have the kidney. So here's the kidney. Oh, here's the, the urinary bladder right here. So we got the urinary bladder. All right, I'm going to spin it around now. Look on the other side. So we should see another lung here, right? Yep, sure enough, there's the other lung. And let's look under one of these lobes of the liver, and it's gonna be hard to see. There's the, there's the gallbladder right there. Looks like a little jujube. If you don't know what a jujube is, look it up. So there's the gallbladder, right next to the liver. Okay, let's look down in here. Well, we got lots of intestine. We got small intestine and large intestine. And here, there's also mesentery tissue, and that's the tissue that um, is kind of keeping this all together, and also, it looks like cellophane, but the veins are, are connected in there and, and will pick up the nutrients and deliver it to the rest of the, the body. Isn't that cool? All right, we move this out of the way, and we're looking again for more fat bodies, and sure enough, we've got some more fat bodies right there. And we have something called the, uh, the spleen. So we had the gallbladder up here, but here's the spleen right here. And we also have uh, the gonads, this little kidney bean shaped structure. All right. And then let's find the large intestine. And that's pretty obvious right here is the large intestine. And you can see where the small intestine dumps into the large intestine. Okay, so right there we have that. And we can get a better view of the spleen on the other side. As I'm pushing it down through here, it's like covered by this membrane. But if I move it to the side, you can see it really good right there. See? Oh, there we go. 
right there is the spleen. So when I moved it, you can see it better. It's covered by a membrane here, so if you move the other side, you can see it much better. Okay, we should see a kidney over here, and sure enough, we do. Okay, so let's go over that um, again really quickly. We've got the heart, we've got the ventricle, two atrium, the liver, so we got one, two, three lobes there. We got the gallbladder, we got the small intestine and the mesentery tissue, and that dumps into the large intestine there. So if we push this down, we can kind of see through the membrane, the spleen, and over here it's much more visible. Uh, we have the gonads, the fat body, and kidney. All right, on the stomach, we have a section of the stomach, this lower part right here that I haven't mentioned, that's the duodenum or duodenum, okay, right here on the stomach. And that about covers all the internal structures uh, that we're going to go over in the frog. Once you're done with, with that, if you'll go over the external and internal at least twice, our goal is to get 100%. Uh, on this, and we probably will ask you some function questions, you know, like which which uh, of these organs is involved in the excretory system or circulatory system. All right, well, thanks, and um, we hope to see you soon, and we'll dissect an amphibian.